started at a time when it was very difficult to start a technology company in Australia. The fact that it managed on a very limited uh, capital base to grow to be a large organisation uh, to produce uh, world leading products, to be recognised as a market leader globally and uh, I think we helped to establish that uh, technology industries could work in Australia. We had $45,000 in, in uh, seed capital uh, and basically uh, the cash flow generated from the businesses was enough to drive the growth. Now, uh, when I joined Mincom, I think I was about number 20 through the door. Three years later, we were about uh, 75, and most of our investment, of course, was in people. We had the computing machinery that we needed. Uh, we didn't need to look for any more capital uh, until we were a uh, $100 million turnover company, and that was about eight years later. catalyst for Mincom was uh, my own experience working in the computer utility industry and seeing some of the flaws in the way they, they operated. So my idea was a company where people made a long-term commitment, so they essentially subscribed to a share of a computing facility um, at a shared cost with other consumers. That was a tough ask. Our first really big bit of good fortune was uh, one of the, the people we were talking to about buying one of their computers, Prime Computer, who was, there was a, an Australian accountant called Lionel Singer who'd, who'd bought the rights to Prime Computers in Australia. And he rang me up in one, one night and said, I've, I've got a deal for you. He said, uh, we're releasing a new top of the range computer, the Prime 750. Uh, if you'll sign a contract to buy one of those, We'll, we'll announce that and we want to open an office in Brisbane. We'll put a demonstration machine in. You can use that for six months to build up your business. Oh, it was a wonderful offer. So we got a free access to a free computer and a free office and it worked wonderfully. The original formula worked so well, we, we sort of basically took over the mining industry in Queensland. All the, all the mining companies joined us. We had a philosophy about uh, looking for really good people and involving them in, in a participatory way in the business. So a lot of the people that came in made a big impact. Uh, we encouraged people to, to be bold and have big ideas. And you know, People like Alan who ca came in and found the opportunity for us to move into the operational area on the mining. We were aided in that greatly by the fact that we'd fortuitously chosen the mining industry to uh, build our business around. And the mining industry in Australia was one of the few industries that saw itself as a global leader and was prepared to invest in innovation here. And we were, we were a, a beneficiary of that. But we also realised fairly early on that the MIM software we developed was not a mining system. It was a system for operating capital intensive um, operations. So things like railways, power stations, that class of systems eventually became known as the enterprise asset management. And we were recognised by Gartner as being one of the world leaders in that sector. I guess one of the, the big steps in terms of mitigating risk was, um, and also our appetite for risk, uh, was bidding for the defence logistics contract when it came up. Uh, that was a, a big deal. It took about three years for us to eventually win that. We subsequently won similar contracts with Canadian Defence for the Royal Navy, for the Chilean Navy, a number of US defence operations, and Marines and Air Force. The willingness to take risks and uh, uh, was part of our part of our culture. We had a huge economic impact in Australia. We've certainly contributed greatly to the growth of in Queensland, to the tune of many billions of dollars of uh, value. We've generated a, a generation of 
skilled IT people, both technical and managerial, and there's a go to most of the IT organisations in Queensland, and you'll find a number of senior people with, uh, uh, who are ex-Mincom, so uh, it's having a continuing impact. Mincom wasn't sort of visionaries, uh, but uh, obviously it all started with David. Everybody in Mincom knew that uh, uh, if David uh, Merson hadn't existed, they wouldn't have been at Mincom. We were very pleased when uh, Francisco Partners uh, uh, invested in Mincom. Nobody was getting any younger in the company, the founders, etc and all the founders had expected and deserved a return on their investment, their original investment in Mincom. So an exit strategy was, was necessary. Our development base and things was all in Brisbane, but we're more, more Australian than Queensland specifically. We thought of ourselves as Australians rather than Queenslanders, I believe. Mincom did achieve the, the rank of the largest supplier of mining software to the global marketplace.